Welcome to the Nexlon Bioscience webinar. The topic for today's discussion is using salometer image cytometry to detect and measure GFP expression efficiency. GFP is a green fluorescent protein that is 26.9 kilodaltons in size. It was first identified in crystal jellyfish Aquaria Victoria, and when exposed to blue or ultraviolet light, the GFP protein fluoresces green. GFP was first expressed in E. coli in 1994 and has since been successfully incorporated and expressed in a great variety of bacterial and mammalian organisms. Many fluorescent proteins of different colors have been generated and their function has been enhanced to provide faster and stronger fluorescent signals. Quantifying GFP can be done in four easy steps. First, pipette 20 microliters of cell sample into a disposable counting chamber. Then insert the slide into the instrument Select your assay from the drop-down menu and click Count. Within seconds, the instrument acquires images, identifies the cells with and without fluorescence, and automatically tabulates the results. The results include the number of cells counted in Brightfield and those that are GFP positive. The concentration for each population as well as their mean diameter. Also reported is the percent of GFP positive cells. Green fluorescent protein has multiple applications in cellular and molecular biology. In this case, GFP and RFP is used as a reporter of gene or protein expression. By detecting GFP expression, it is possible to quantify the transfection or transduction efficiency in a population of cells. Here we are looking at GFP expression efficiency for a lentiviral transduction in HEC293 cells. Three data points were collected for this experiment, sample 1, sample 2, and a control. The micrographs for each sample show a bright field image and a corresponding fluorescent image. The captured images were analyzed and the results are displayed below. In sample 1, 58% of the cells are GFP positive. When the lentiviral vector is diluted twofold, the percent of GFP positive cells decreases from 58% to 24.1%. The control sample does not contain a vector and therefore no GFP expression was detected. Similar to GFP expression, we can also detect RFP expression. Shown here is RFP expression in RWP1 cells. Brightfield and fluorescent images were acquired and the data output table shows the number of cells counted, the concentration of bright field cells, and the RFP positive cells, the mean diameter and the percent of RFP positive cells. It is also possible to examine GFP expression and cell viability in a single assay. This is accomplished by staining the cell sample with propidium iodide. In this example, GFP expressing mouse embryonic stem cells have been stained with propidium iodide. Brightfield, GFP, and PI images were captured and analyzed. The results include counts for GFP positive cells, the PI positive cells, the total number of cells in Brightfield, as well as the concentrations for each population and the mean diameter. Also reported is the percent of cells that are GFP positive, the percent of cells that are PI positive, and the population of cells that are dual positive. Although the overall viability of the sample is approximately 53%, nearly all of the GFP positive cells are live and therefore are PI negative. The third application examines cells in a culture that co-express GFP and RFP. Salometer can capture, analyze, and report the percent of cells that are GFP positive, RFP positive, or dual positive. In this example, we are looking at T cells that are co-expressing GFP and RFP. Brightfield, GFP, and RFP images are acquired and analyzed. The reported results include the number of cells counted for each population, the concentration, the mean diameter, and the ratios of GFP positive, RFP positive, and dual positive cell populations. In this example, about 38% of the cells are both GFP and RFP positive. Alternatively, we can also measure GFP expression by looking at the total fluorescent intensity of a sample and export it to a software that is typically used for flow cytometry. The data required from the salometer images are exported to FCS Express software and a histogram is generated. The histogram displays the GFP negative as well as the GFP positive populations. Gating can be manually adjusted and the corresponding data is automatically updated. The data table contains the percent of GFP positive and GFP negative cells as well as their corresponding concentrations. Our customers have successfully detected 
and quantified GFP expression in many different mammalian cell lines. Represented here are just some examples of those GFP expression experiments. A bright field and a GFP micrograph is shown for each GFP expressing cell line. Here we have COS7s, 293Fs, and HeLa cells, as well as T3T cells, H1299s, and K562 cells. Detection of GFP expression can also be performed in yeast. These micrographs show GFP expression in Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Since the imaging of yeast requires a higher magnification, these particular bright field and fluorescent images were captured by a Vision 10X instrument. Not only can the salometer detect GFP and RFP expression, but it can also detect and analyze any fluorescent protein within the UV to far red spectrum. The salometer interchangeable fluorescence optics modules are optimized for detection of various fluorescent signals. These fluorescent optic modules are not only used to measure fluorescent proteins, but they are also capable of measuring enzymatic dyes, alexafluor dyes, and DNA binding dyes. In conclusion, salometer image cytometry may be effectively utilized to determine GFP or other fluorescent proteins transduction or transfection efficiency, calculate cell concentrations, as well as detect and quantify dual expression in a population such as GFP and RFP positive. Single assay analysis may be performed to simultaneously measure GFP expression and cell viability by staining the cells with propadium iodide. It may also be used to study not only GFP expression in mammalian cell lines, but also in GFP expressing yeast cells by using our Vision 10X instrument. This robust instrument platform, along with separate software solutions, provides researchers with the ability to detect and directly compare fluorescent signals. Detecting and measuring GFP expression is a common asset in many research fields. Our customers have published in a variety of journals, everything from DNA repair to journal virology to molecular and cancer research. This concludes today's webinar, and thank you for your time.